up. This is that one. Okay, what is up guys? We are on our way to detox yoga and after that I'm gonna get coffee. I don't even want to know how terrible I look on this camera right now. I know it's bad, I just know it is. Hello, I am dead. It is fully cloudy outside, but I look so ratchet. I'm gonna wear sunglasses. I guess I got used to it. I guess I got used to it. Hey! Kiss me till I soak it. Fire's always on the side around me. Can I please have um, a bacon, egg, and cheddar croissant? Thank you. Oh, that's gas. This song is so good. I genuinely listen to every genre. I listen to reggae, I listen to rock, I listen to country, I listen to pop, I listen to Disney music, I listen to broad I love Broadway music. That's Guys, it is time to do some makeup. Alone, time. All right, I'm gonna update you guys on my life while I do my makeup because I feel like that's more interesting. So it's my first year in college and I am struggling. Yeah, it's it's hard. It's not easy. It's not an easy adjustment. I didn't rush, so I don't have that like platform to meet people, and I'm not like an extrovert, so it's been really hard for me to just like go up to people and be like, "Hey, what's up?" I think another thing that can be kind of hard is like I don't love to party. I mean, I can go and like make the most of it, but I'd, I've never loved it. Like, it's hard to get myself to go because I just don't really enjoy it. <laughs> it's hard to navigate college when you don't enjoy those things. To be real, I never really wanted to go to college. I was so afraid that I just wouldn't fit in. I'd be anxious, I'd be depressed away from my family. All my biggest fears came true. No. <laughs> Share with you guys my um, what's been getting me through freshman year. And it's two words, seek discomfort. Discomfort is what makes you learn, what makes you grow as a person, what makes you get over these fears and overcome these like worries. I'm spraying this Coco Kind rose water spray. Oh wow, I love that noise. I'm gonna add some Glossier perfume. Now realizing I forgot to do the absolute favorite part of my routine. So I'm gonna show you this duo that I just discovered. The Charlotte Tilbury Love Trap. Oh. And I'm gonna use the Superstay Vinyl Ink by Maybelline. A nice like mauve purple. Like it's more purple than it is pink and I love it. And then to finish her off, I'll go in with either the Giesen Lip Oil, I do not know how to say it, or the Fenty Beauty Heat. This is just like honey infused. And yeah, that's the finished makeup look. All right, here's to fit. We're back! I miss you guys. We are gonna go thrifting. I want to look for just like more casual clothing. I just saw my mom. <laughs> That's why I waved. This is like my villain song. Like I turned into a villain when I listen to this. Oh, and when you dance with the devil, the devil gonna dance with you. Oh, when you play with fire, the flames gonna burn you. Thank you. You too. Dude, this is like my new addiction. Cherry limeades, literally my new addiction. Okay, time to go inside. In your baby, 
Cause you're all alone But I did in fact purchase this boss hat and I don't regret it. Keep you free and clean. And so please, I know you're free. Nobody asked, but I'm gonna give a quick little thrifting haul. Starting off strong, I got this boss bedazzled hat. Oh so, yeah, that's the first purchase that I made. Second purchase, I'm very excited about this. I'm obsessed with light colors right now. Light blue sweater, I had to cop immediately. Um, if you just picture it in a very vintage kind of looking outfit. Third of all, you have to you have to have a vision in order to understand why this is cute. Because I know at first glance it looks really ugly. But if you picture it in like a retro Emma Chamberlain type of way, it's cool, right? Then I got these tan leg warmers. I'm kind of grossed out touching them right now, but it's okay. I got these like vintage looking socks that I'd like I wouldn't wear them that tall. I'd like scrunch them down. All right, hey guys, it is the next day. Um, I just got back from my hair appointment and then I went to Sephora. Um, I'm about to take a ginger shot. Also, this is for anyone who came here from my TikTok and is like a Joshua Bassett fan. So, as many of you know, Josh tweeted something last night. Josh or Josh's hacker? I guess we'll never know. People are so invested in it, and I don't know why they're so invested. Like, I knew that people in the fan base would be invested, but like, I'm seeing TikToks with like 100,000 likes about it, and I'm like, why are people like, why is this that? Like, I just don't think it's that big of a deal in my opinion. But I also think people can't prove the tweet wrong by posting a video of him a year ago because people's thoughts changed so quickly and you never know like he was in such a I don't know I don't know I don't know but if it's Josh and everyone's reacting like this that's so awkward <laughs> very awkward all right we're about to make a salad come along with me salad edition but we're gonna go in with some spring mix no, I won't sit a tear just as long as you stand, stand by me. 